when I am uh, making for a very special lady to essential oil candles. Now this one's a love potion one. Essential oils are really strong, so you don't necessarily need your full percentage of that you would with a fragrance oil. So this one has got in cinnamon bark, it's got sandalwood, it's got rose geranium, it's got a little dash of myrrh, a bit of frankincense, and I love it, it is gorgeous. So we're doing woodwicks. Now this time, the last one you couldn't really see so much. See how we've got the gap there? I'm gonna glue these together essentially with the whack in the middle. Whack, whack, wax in the middle. This one's exactly the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick them in first because if you get the wax or the oil on the bottom of these, they just do not stick. one stuck on. A nice push on. Put it on the back. Get it in the centre. Same with this one. Nice firm push on. Make sure it's totally stuck. If I can get it off of these down nails, there we go. Right in the centre. Now you don't need a centering tool for these, obviously, because it's the wood. And as you can see, those gaps there. I've got two clips that they sit in, in the bottom. And I'm going to use those to fuse them together. So I'm going to get... Some melted wax on the spoon and pour it straight down the middle and get hold of them, push them together, whoops, and get that clip on the top. These ones for the candle size, I like to use two of the woods. I just don't trust a single wood and then it's going to burn properly. So on again, hold them together and clamp it essentially. There we go, that'll dry quickly. Now, with the wooden wicks, you prime them, essentially. So, on my finger, I've got some of the oil, and I'm going to rub it up and down the wood. You only need a little bit. But it just gets the wood ready to burn a bit. And the same with this one. I love the essential oil ones. I've got one... Um, and I use lotus flower oil. It's meant to be the most expensive essential oil you can get. And oh, it is gorgeous. Really, really nice. So these ones will be topped with... Just make sure that's sticking together. Put some more wax down. nice and tight. There we go. Under that height they're sticking together. So this one is topped with rose petals and it also has rose quartz on the top along with cinnamon bark as it's got cinnamon bark in it. I like to use that to top it as well. We're going to weigh our wax. Back. Sorry, I had a phone call. Right, 
way it works. And because I'm using essential oils, like I said, you don't need as much oil. It's uh, they're really strong, they're really potent. So we'll get those poured in. Give those a good stir. Nice and gentle, so you're not making bubbles. Excuse twinkle toes in the background. Let's get these ready. These will be nice and stuck together, but I like to leave them on until it's fully set. I like to give as much wax as I can and keep them candles safe. And this one's got gemstones on top too, so you need that little bit extra space. There we go. We'll come back when those are all set up and I'll show you how I put the tops on. Okay, we're back. We're all set. Still a little bit of warmth in, but the top's nice and set, so I'm going to use the heat gun just to melt the top a little. We want a nice even melt and get a gemstone and just pop that in. A little bit more heat. Just to make sure it's secure. some cinnamon bark and add that stick in there we go and some rose petals Some more rows around here. Okay. I just want to make sure that the rose petals are 
the seal in the wax, which they are. On to the next one. Gemstone in. Get our cinnamon bark. That's stuck in. And our last petals. There we go. And they'll set up nicely. Once those tops have fully cooled off, don't take long. I'll take the clips off and we're done we're ready you can see that one it's pretty much all set up I'll take that clip off gently and take this one off I'm going to just grab my clippers. Mom. There you go back. I'll just get my clippers. one let's two there we go already made love parachin essential oil candles oh they smell gorgeous i love making these ones thanks for watching everyone